All right, this is <clears throat> my shipment from Ruger. This is, I don't know what it is, actually. I don't know what it is. Whether this is a repair or whether this is a replacement. This is very nicely packaged. I was hoping that my Ruger LCP would be magically transformed into a three screw 45 cold Blackhawk, but. So they replaced the grip frame and the takedown pin. During the service of your firearm, the service technician replaced certain parts of your firearm as part of a rolling change service update. After repair, pistol was function fired 18 rounds of Black Hills 100 grade FMJ without malfunction. So good. I've had several people say that they were they thought that Ruger would probably replace it with, this, with the Generation 2. And I actually hoped that they would leave it the same because I know this works. And I know how to shoot it. And I like it. So, yeah, that's my old gun. They just replaced the grip frame. That's cool. Didn't look like they maybe updated the magazine release. The steel one. That may have been one of the things. Let me see if it's magnetic. Yep. So that's a magnetic. So that means that's the steel magazine release, which may have been part of the up updates. They might have put in the new recoil spring. And I don't know what else they would have, but that uh, insert might be new, I'm not sure, whatever that frame insert, I think that must be new, this piece here, and don't know what else, but double check the bore, the trigger is much different than it was. <laughs> it's very, it's much stiffer. But, I wonder if they had to replace the striker springs or something. The hammer spring. Looks like it's working. And they sent me back my Italian mag, so that's good. All right, so good job, Ruger. So far, so good. Thanks, guys. That was fast service, and they didn't charge me anything. Uh, I would have been happy to pay for the repair to the grip frame, but they paid shipping both ways, two-day FedEx shipping, which isn't cheap, and I had it back within... I think it was about a week and a half total since I sent it in. And let's go shoot it and make sure it works. All right, let's see if this old LCP with the new frame works. This is uh, Hornady Critical Defense. That's why I'm missing this because I'm flinching. Works. All right, this is American Eagle 95 grain FMJ. If I can hit the top plate. Got a malfunction there.
little trouble getting that magazine to lock in. This is Cellier and Bello 92 grain FMJ. I wonder why I'm pulling it left. Well, the new magazine release is a little bit tighter than the previous. I'm having to hold right now. The tolerances for the new uh, magazine release are a little bit different. the magazine release like I normally do. So let's lock the slide back. Still not locked in. Hmm. So with the standard flush fit magazines, it goes in fine. It's locked in. But the American made seven round mags no longer Not locked in. Still not locked in. Well, I guess I'll have to shave off the bottom, the tops of these base plates. That's annoying. That's a six round flush fit. It's also annoying that I can't seem to hit with this gun anymore. <laughs> Right. I'm having to hold the right, uh, right third of that of that torso. Maybe I'm. I might be pulling him left. This new trigger is heavier than the other one. Let me try that top round plate again. These are these are Hornady Critical Defense and. Um, Beer gold dot. Those are a little bit warm. Those spear gold dots were pretty sharp, but they are not plus P. So I've had one. Failure to fully chamber or failure to feed so far. And the seven round magazines won't won't lock in. But other than that, I don't carry the seven round mags and I don't I only shoot them at the range, so it's not really a primary concern of mine. Let's try this one. This is with the with the finger extension 
Didn't want to lock in, but it finally did. And the magazine came out. So, it looks to me like, looks to me like the grip frame is a little bit long compared to the old one. Boy. I used to be able to hit pretty well with this thing. Must be out of practice. Oh well, with the six rounders, it seems to be working okay, so. All right, I think I've got it sorted now. The tolerances are a little bit tighter with the new mag release and the new frame, so I had to sand the tops of the followers on the seven round magazines and the Pierce extended finger magazine. It's no big deal, you just remove them. I didn't really want to sand the grip frame. I guess I could have done that, but it's usually better to modify the cheaper part. So I just uh, sanded, took the magazine apart, sanded, the, uh, wrapped it around uh, some, sand, some 300 grit sandpaper around a sanding block and tried to maintain the same curve and just sanded the upper portion of the base plates, extended base plates, until they all lock in with the normal amount of pressure. Before, I could sit and pound on it as hard as I could and it would never lock in, so. Anyway, let's take a few more shots, and this is a little bit closer now, at 25 feet or so. Uh, let's see if I can get anywhere close to it. This is uh, s and Ball and Federal American Eagle. third one of these whatever they did whatever they replaced it doesn't like it Looks like maybe, I don't know what the heck is going on. Wearing in or something. That's a loud. 
last round, last round failure to feed or failure to fully chamber with the seven round Ruger. And that's pretty, that's, that's with the Federal American Eagle. Maybe I just didn't like that Federal ammo. I haven't shot a lot of it. It's American Eagle, 95 grain, FMJ. Let me load up those mags with S and B and see if I have another, some more of those magazines uh, malfunctions. All right, so this is with Cellular and Benno, or however you pronounce it. These are the seven round magazines, which both, both malfunctioned when I tried them last round with the Federal. See if they work now. That's a B. more encouraging that is more encouraging to me so apparently it's just my pistol doesn't like federal american eagle ball uh, i didn't i don't believe i had any malfunctions with uh hornady uh critical defense or spear gold dot or s and b i don't believe that was 50 rounds right there with um, all S and B with all of the magazines and not one malfunction. So um, I'm just going to make sure that I don't use that Federal American Eagle <laughs> ammo in this particular pistol. So Ruger gives me gets me uh, A minus. It's uh, they're A plus for service. Thank you guys so much for sending me a 
return receipt and shipping it after five days. They had it for five days. I looked at my records, um, and they shipped it back to me and got it and it got it in two. And they replaced the grip frame and, at a minimum, they replaced the magazine release. And I'm pretty sure they replaced the trigger. It doesn't feel the same as it did. And the takedown pin is what it said on the sheet. All it said on the sheet was actually the grip frame and the takedown pin, but they also said they replaced some other parts as part of sweeping upgrades or something. So uh, the trigger pull is heavier than it was, but it's uh, similar. And I can still shoot okay with it. Before I was able to hit at 20, 20 yards, I was able to hit the plates pretty much every shot, but I just got to practice with it more, I guess. <clears throat> so the only problem I had was that the, the grip tolerance is now with the... Uh, new mag magazine release, I had to shave the base plates to get them to seat. The, the six rounders would seat, uh, if I smacked them in, they would seat, but now they're good. Then the seven rounders would seat, wouldn't seat at all, no matter how hard I smacked them. So that's the only niggle I have. And I'm very happy with their service and I'm happy with this little pistol. So, rock on. Thanks for watching.